So this is bursts versus uh, periodic discharges. It looks like so number of phases is the key thing that is different. Yeah, so two things. So to be a burst, it has to last more than half a second and it has to have at least four phases. Mm -hmm. So if either one of those is not true, then it's just a discharge. So oh, if, okay. if so it's less than half a second, it doesn't matter how many phases, it's still a discharge. And if it's just a big delta wave that's lasting a whole second mm -hmm. uh, or even a biphasic one, that's still just a discharge as well. Mm -hmm. So this is the definition of highly epileptiform bursts. It means you have two or more epileptiform discharges in the majority of bursts. Mm -hmm. If you got a long burst, then these discharges have to be at one hertz or faster within the bursts. Mm -hmm. And it also can be highly epileptiform if it looks like a piece of a seizure within the burst. Mm -hmm. so sometimes in that periodic discharge, it looks like a little ictal run within it. That's still a highly epileptiform burst. Okay. Um, so this is what it looks like schematically. So this is a patient with barely highly epileptiform burst. So there's two or three sharp waves in each burst, mm -hmm. uh, at least for more than half the burst. So this one only has one. So if they all look like that, it would not be highly epileptiform. But mm -hmm. these have multiple. And this is another way, these little evolving bursts. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't say there's birds in the bursts? <laughs> You could, but that's actually a specific exclusion for birds. It cannot be part of burst suppression. Okay, okay. Is mm -hmm. it for that exact reason? Otherwise, you'd call it bird suppression, but we didn't allow that. <laughs> and even, even I've heard people say periodic birds. Technically, that's probably burst suppression. It might be focal yeah. burst suppression, which you can have. You can have focal birds. You can indeed. In fact, you can have multifocal birds. And multifocal birds. <laughs> <laughs> and, and when they look like this here, if it's a bird, we're not talking about birds here. But uh -huh. we, we call them angry birds, but that's not actually in the <laughs> nomenclature. <laughs> it's copyrighted, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, so these, this is to your question, uh, Fabio. This, this is a little mm -hmm. different version of your question. Mm -hmm. You can infer if you look, if you see this, it's, it's the prognosis is poor. Mm. Well, yeah, but now you're talking about post cardiac arrest only. -cardiac and you're arrest, talking yes. about generalized yeah. synchronous bursts. Yeah. So, supposedly, at least based on the work of, of one center, if you have that in the post anoxic setting, you're, that's very bad. Although, yeah, I guess the only caveat is with almost every finding that where we say something like that, there's a self fulfilling prophecy problem. Exactly. And, uh, so, it so def really definitely know. needs more study. And mm -hmm. If the first half a second mm -hmm. of every burst looks similar in all the channels, mm -hmm. in 90% of the bursts, actually, then that's considered identical bursts. You see here, the first half second is identical mm -hmm. for all three of these bursts. It doesn't matter what happens after, just the first half second. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's a cluster of bursts like this. It's like a couplet. And as long as the first half second of the first one always looks the same, that's still identical bursts. But they don't have to be highly epileptiform. They just have to be identical. Right. Correct. No, okay. Those are yeah, two, the, two different things. Okay. The, the, the idea here is somehow that if the brain is really severely injured, then it, it can only generate, you know, uh, this one pattern. Oh, I see. You know? So this are is these, an example. Uh, what do you think? Are they identical? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty similar. I would say no, but hmm. maybe I don't, this is a hard call. They're they're kind of complex, so I, it makes it harder to call. Again, only the first half second counts. Uh, so I if mean, you maybe. pick any any one particular area here, yeah, uh -huh. or you Guess pick so. it here, the first half second is remarkably identical. Mm. Yeah, so we would call this identical bursts and they're also this is all polyspike so these are highly epileptiform as well yeah yeah reactivity so reactivity is an important predictor i mean many studies and many conditions have shown having an unreactive eg is worse prognostically than having a reactive one mm -hmm. um so this the definition of this is reactivity first of all refers only to the brain waves so it doesn't matter if muscle artifact shows up or the patient moves it's just referring to the actual brain waves Mm -hmm. um, 
So just seeing muscle doesn't count. Um, but it's really any change in the brain activity, voltage, frequency, anything counts as being reactive. Um, and then there's one other category in, in between reactive, which is good, and non-reactive or unreactive, which is bad. Uh, there's this serpids only where the only reactivity is one of these ugly epileptiform patterns induced by alerting. Okay, so if that's the only thing you have is one of those, then it's called serpids only. What about uh, how to assess reactivity? Do you have any tips? Yeah, so yeah, you should have a standardized protocol for that. And before you call a record uh, unreactive, you should make sure you did it multiple times and you did it properly, really give a painful stimulus or noxious stimulus of some kind. Um, but I will add one other caveat. People who like are locked in, you got to make sure you're stimulus is something that actually gets into the brain. It could be a totally normal cognitively person who's locked in. And if you're giving painful stimuli below their neck, they're not going to feel a thing and you'll call them unreactive. That's where opening the eyes and giving really bright light may actually be more of a stimulus than anything else because it actually gets in. Mm -hmm.